let's just push the button and roll with it. News is not for everybody. Unknown object. Let's knock it out. One that can see. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Visual Disturbance. I'm your host, Brian Reese, and we are back for another news that's not for everybody, unknown object. Let's just jump right into it, everybody. Let's get back into the program. Let's get back on Let's get back on the Visual Disturbance channel. We haven't been on for a while. I did some short and sweet uh, segments not too long ago, but uh, let's just do a news that's not for everybody today on the unknown object. So let's get into it. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind when I talk about the unknown object is what kind of deception lays upon our eyes as far as what's what's in the skies you know you hear all about the uaps ufos all that good stuff everything that comes around in the mainstream media and everything it seems to do with the ufo and the uap phenomenon it seems a little bizarre world in my opinion so let's get into it so according to the james webb telescope according to the article the james webb telescope is this city like size unknown object was detected by this lovely um let's just say rendering right off wikipedia of the uh, James Webb Telescope. So it's correcting its course toward Earth. Oh no! You know, all those different things. Uh, I've heard a bunch of speculation online, a bunch of random drama. Uh, what does it What does it have to do with whatever? You know, there's all of this, this device has been around for a while. Uh, it's not nothing new. It's been supposedly in the skies for uh, several years now, so to speak. But, you know, comment below. Let me know what you think. You know, what, what's really going on with the James Webb Telescope? I'm hearing it's a multi-interdimensional uh, wormhole, black hole, whatever type of thing that they can miraculously manifest. And, you know, I've seen the actual specs and seen it, read it, looked at it, seen actual, you know, the full model that they supposedly videoed, whatever. Um, but supposedly it's uh, conducted of an inflared astronomy. Like it's a largest telescope is equipped with a high resolution um, I think it's a high res. What was it? Excuse me. Lost my train of thought there. That's all right. Hey, welcome to Visual Disturbance. Um, it has highly sensitive, high resolution instruments, allowing it to view objects to odd distance. And I wonder what that is. I wonder if it's something to do with manifesting, you know, let's just say these dark matter, black holes, whatever you want to call it, quantifiable nonsense. The word of the world's coming in 2024. It's always something. They just, you know, somebody feeding you full a bunch of bull, you know, whatever. So um, let's get into one of these one of these things that I'm thinking about with all this. So could it be the, uh, I think it was called the Aumuamua. I think that that looked like a cigar shaped. I cannot believe that this is what they said, that they said it looked like. They took a picture from the so-called sky or the space above us, and this is the best picture they could come up with. I could draw, even with my vision issues, I could draw better than this with a pen and paper. So I'm just not trying to discredit anybody that actually said that they caught this with their highly sophisticated piece of equipment with their uh, telescope, and they took that good old 3D rendering and it just manifested on paper. There's a little sarcastic with that, a little sarcastic. Oumuamua, Oumuamua. I've seen some of these, uh, I will... uh, speak about this i've seen some in my backyard with these cylinder like lines going across the sky in the backyard so if you really think about it why am i be able to pick it up with if you can go back some of the programs i've done you can go back and look at the some of the gopro footage i just literally just took a screenshots like shots shots of the 
of the uh, sky and in night vision mode. And I was finding like these weird anomalies in the sky. So, is it a cylinder shape to take us to the Kuiper belt? What is it? Is it the Anunnaki coming to get us and save us from this old wicked world? What a bunch of load of baloney, right? And they blend the whole Anunnaki thing, which I'm not saying that they don't exist, but it gets a little bit, it gets a bit a little insane to me that we can just chew on anything that anything anybody spits out. So one thing I want to mention too, so they're saying it's it's going toward the earth, it's coming toward the earth. So there's something I want everybody to be mindful about. Check this out. So the earth will get a second mini moon for two months this year. Whoa, all these years we've been alive. Say it ain't so, Brian. Why would it be just miraculously here? A couple years ago, you know, they was saying the the all these different eclipses. There wouldn't be no more eclipses. Then all of a sudden, last year we had eclipses. You know, they this was several years ago, like in 2017. We won't have any more eclipses for a long time. And then all of a sudden, hey, we got some more. You know, where did this second mini moon come from? You know, was it a sun simulator, a moon simulator? What is it? Because China has one of those. But everybody will just say, Brian, you're so you're not credible. Well, go look it up. They spoke about it. That there's literally literally things that are in the skies that are artificially, let's just say, deployed there. Let's just read a little bit. So the Earth will get its second moon for about two months this year, and a small asteroid begins to orbit our planet. You know, other places, there's other people out there saying it's not even a planet. They're saying that it's been making maneuvers and making stuff that would, you know, deem that it's, uh, let's just say, as a consciousness to it, right? That's what they're that's what they're claiming in this event of whatever's supposed to be coming. I've heard anything from AI coming and oh no, the AI has deployed projection project blue beam. Watch out, watch out everybody. That's where I'm at. I'm kind of to the point where I'm just like, you know what? It's just kind of it it it's you know, I'm gonna get on the ignorant train, right? Like be gullible to believe anything that they say. So let's continue on. The Astro was discovered in August and is said to become a mini moon revolving around the Earth in a horseshoe shape from September the 29th to November the 25th. Uh, researchers at the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Laser Alert System, or an asteroid monitoring system funded by NASA, spotted the U- Astro using an instrument in Sutherland, South Africa, and labeled it 2024. T5. So if you look at this and you think about it, you talk about the orbiting of the Earth and the gravitational pull and all these different things that revolve around the so-called moon. And it's they even say on CBS, I've seen another gentleman on there, an astronomer, say that we won't be able to see it with the naked eye. It will not be visible in the naked eye. You'll have to have some type of telescope to some visual. And then all of a sudden there's other people saying, hey, I can, I'm going to be able to see it. So how do you know that? And then another thing that really got me was there's some military applications and people out there in the know i've seen some stuff on twitter x they're talking about oh yeah that they've been monitoring it for 36 months and 18 months i've heard different numbers you know different time elapsed there but uh, what would what would what's so compelling about it all is if you have this this article here saying they've been monitoring it uh for since august excuse me not august the astro was discovered in august so if you got just last month I think we're missing about 17 months, or even if you go to the 36 months, and they're saying it's making maneuverable capabilities, that it's making looks like you know something that would be driven or flown, so to speak. And that's why I made the commentary about the Anunnaki or whatever. So let me know what you think in the description on this particular topic with this mini moon. Will men's hearts start to freak out when they start going to panic mode when this thing pops up? Whatever it is, if you get your telescope out there, if you got a P1000 Nikon, you go up there and zoom in on it. Are you going to be able to uh, articulate and take a picture? Are you going to be able to zoom in on the serial number and the license plate of the Anunnaki's flying aircraft? Welcome from welcome to news. It's not for everybody. Uh, Visual disturbance channel because there's a little bit of sarcasm and humorous factor to the whole thing. So that's and I digress. Let's continue on because I'm gonna get a little bit sarcastic uh, mindset here. So when I go and look at this and I think about this, I'm thinking, okay, so what could really come from this? What is going on? We have all these things. We have wars and different things that are coming upon us in different micro levels. 
and different things that come to a certain extent where you're like, okay, so what do we do? How are we going to combat it? And people are like, well, we're going to be able to do this and do that. And I will say this because I'm going to do a program here uh, coming up. Where's all the CEOs at? Why is all the CEOs, you know, the the whole Mr. Diddy, Mr. Diddy, um, you would, the whole debacle with that and the whole scandal. You would think, you know, that all the CEOs and stuff are all correlated with that some way. But it, wait, is there something to do with this? Oh, man, the object that is coming upon the earth. Is it going to bring us to destruction? And then the CEOs are going to bunkers. Um, you know, look, I'm all about a good conspiracy and I'm all about a good conversation, open mind and a critical thinking. Um, let's just say uh, gear turning, gear turning conversation. But I will tell you this. If I hear one more thing about that, it's going to, that this is going to be an asteroid that's going to impact the earth. It's going to be Apophis, the Apophis. It's magically, it's a surprising us. It's giving us a gift of an asteroid to let us know that we're here, that it's here. I mean, we're living in literally insane times. Your mind is not clear. People are being, I mean, people are becoming deceived. People are just becoming liars. People literally, literally, and this is what I'm going to do with this. That's all I'm going to say with that. And then another thing, when you look at this whole concept of our our reality, you think, hey, how in the world is men going to be able to predict? And you have all these micro, micromanaged, uh, organization saying, well, I can see it. I'm going to be able to see it. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody's going to see it, right? And then they'll turn around. Now you ain't going to be able to see it. you got to have a special telescope. You might have to have one that's gauged with the, I mean, they literally like with the 14, uh, sifting, you know, thousand zoom and a, probably going to cost you $2,000 to be able, you know, the public won't be able to afford it. That's the kind of thing that I'm hearing. And it's insane. We have to go out and order a special telescope to, uh, Prepare for this mini moon. Well, let me know what you think in the chat. Because this one's burned me up a little bit. I have some other things to say in the future on another program, but this is the news is not for everybody. If you haven't hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I sure hope you do. I sure hope you do. I hope I hope to have you in the Visual Disturbance channel. This channel is for a wide variety of topics. I would call it a universal channel where you can kind of talk about anything on it. And um, if you choose to join the visual disturbance community, I really would appreciate it. I genuinely would appreciate that. And like I said, I'm going to do it one more time before I conclude this program here. What do you think about this telescope? Is it legit? Is it looking into the vastness of, of our space, the space-time continuum. Is it opening up quantum uh, realms of holes and interdimensional travel? Whatever kind of nonsense they can come up with. Is it something to do with the Palladians? Is it something to do with the Nordics? Is it something to do with all the fallen angels? Just wrap it up in one big bag of wax and throw it in the garbage can. Is that what it is? Comment below if you don't care. And the last thing, like I did earlier, I didn't think I would do it again. But I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to leave you with this. Brian Reese with Visual Disturbance. I'm out of here. See you on the next one. Huh?